This is the one of the hottest videography trends right now. It's widely used in music videos, video games, movies, especially for social media platforms like TikTok. And it's not surprising given how cool these videos look. These effects makes videos more dynamic and creates an illusion of ephemerality. But not all these effects are created equal. Sometimes you may not achieve desired results just by applying standard filter. But first things first, let's roll the intro. Hey what's up guys I hope you're having a great day welcome back to the brand new exciting video if you are new here this is Divinson here for my channel I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking if you're into that stuff consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel today I'm gonna share with you how to make a glitch effect to a video and how to make a glitch template in Adobe After Effects so that you can apply to any video that you're making as I mentioned in the intro digital distortion makes really cool and makes videos really awesome so without any further ado let's open Adobe After Effects I'm gonna make a new composition I'm gonna make a 4k comp and I rename as placeholder click ok and then I'm gonna drag this little composition icon right here once done let's make a solid layer I rename as a noise. Oops, let's change solid color to black. Hit OK. There you go. I'm gonna select the solid layer, head over to the effect and noise and grain and click on the fractal noise. Once done, I'm gonna change the fractal type to max and noise type to block. Let's increase the contrast value and also change the brightness value to minus around 30 and scroll down the transform menu and untick the uniform scaling and increase scale with around 6000 once done hold all click on the evolution stopwatch and type time asterisk sign and i'm gonna type value around 1000 let's play it speed looks good but you can increase the value it depends on the speed you want i'm gonna add linear wipe transition to the solid Once done, go few frames forward on the timeline and make a key on the transition completion. And then go little forward. Let's change the value to 100. And I'm gonna speed up the animation by adjusting the key gap. Once done, I'm gonna increase the feather something like this. Now I'm gonna pre comp the solid and name as map. Hit OK and then make a new adjustment layer. Add the displacement effect to that. Once done, I'm gonna change the displacement map layer to map. And you can double click on the placeholder and add text or insert the video clip there. I'm gonna create some text on it. And if you play it, you can see the distortion. Seems the evolution value should be increased. So I'm gonna go back to the solid layer, which I already pre composed and change the evolution value. I'm gonna increase it around 10,000. And let's come back to the main comp. I'm gonna play it. There you go. So this is how we make glitch templates inside Adobe After Effects so that you can apply any video that you're making. And you can make videos really cool. I'm gonna go a little deep into this glitch effects. Let's dive in. Now I'm gonna make a new composition as before and name it as a placeholder. So now you know what I'm gonna do. Grab it onto the little composition icon right over here. And make a solid. Once done, let's add the fractal noise. On here, I'm gonna change the noise type to block and change the value of brightness and contrast. And then scroll down the transform menu, untick this uniform scaling, increase the scale width, and then let's change the complexity a little bit around 4.05. And hold all click on the evolution stopwatch and this time let's type time asterisk sign and thousand. I will increase it with the speed I want. I'm gonna select the solid layer and pre-compose it. Keep the move all attributes and name it as noise. Hit OK. I'm gonna go into the placeholder and insert my intro clip to have some glitch effect on it. You can add any video clip you want. I'm gonna place it right over here. Go back to the main comp and hide the visibility on noise comp. Once done, I'm gonna add new adjustment layer and grab the displacement map effect on it, something like this. I'm gonna change the displacement map to the noise and change the horizontal and vertical displacement values. 
you can already see the distortion effect on the clip so now you can see some black holes in the video clip so I'm gonna fix it by adding motion tile effect let's grab it into the adjustment layer and let's place it above the displacement map effect click on the mirror edges and increase the width and height values and the black holes almost fixed once done select all layers and pre-compose it and I'm gonna name it as all LUTs click OK then duplicate the layer just by hitting Ctrl D on your keyboard once done let's add again the motion tile effect on the layer and let's play with the values something like this I'm gonna add shift channels effect on the layer once done full of the green and blue and keep the red on and duplicate the layer then full off the red and turn on the green and keep the blue full off and again duplicate the layer keep full off the red and green and turn on the blue channel and then let's select the top two layers and change the blending mode to screen once done I'm gonna select the first layer and select the position control and hold alt and click I'm gonna type wiggle open parentheses 2 comma 200 close the parentheses but I will change this later depends on the speed I want let's play it looks pretty good to me and I'm gonna copy the values and paste it to the other two layers something like this so if you play this it's gonna be like this if you want you can add the opacity key to appear and disappear the effect I'm gonna add opacity key something like this it looks I wanna speed up the wiggling so let's change the wiggle value to have a more natural look on it I'm gonna little play with it okay I have a good output I'm gonna play with the opacity key something like this you can follow me let's do the same changes to the other layer as well and then I'm gonna split this layer right here I want glitch to be happened some places randomly I'm gonna go a little forward and split it again and I want to go back to the LUT comp and split the adjustment layer so that distort will happen only the place I want so the glitch will happen apparently so yeah I'm gonna continue that until I get the best outcome and finally with some adjustment I have come up with the best outcome so let's play the final output There you go, this is how we make digital distortion aka glitch effects inside the Adobe After Effects. And this is pretty much it guys from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did, like and share my video. Consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay creative, peace.